So here we are at Metal Arts, and this is the this is the piece of Grandpa Bailey that we're doing. We're going to be patinating it today. It just finished casting, so it's pretty good stuff. And we're going to show you what we do. And uh, one of my mentors, Scott Rogers, is having some of his pieces finished right now. And they put the chemicals on it, and then they uh, they add the heat. So we're going to come back to this in just a little bit and go from there. Yeah, so Enrique is here, and he is my uh, patina artist. Good stuff. So we're going to get started. Um, you think we ought to just go with the black first and buff it out and see? I guess, I guess so, yeah, as, as a base color. Are you thinking anything, I think so. anything wild or just kind of staying more? I think like we're going to stay traditional. Traditional, traditional yeah. ways? Okay. Yep. Well, let's start with that. All right, sounds good. So what is it that we add first? Okay. Oh, the heat. First of all, we need to heat it up so we can get rid of the moisture in the Right. So that the sulfur, uh, it's sulfur already potash. That sulfur, sulfur potash? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it reacts faster and makes it a grayish black. Okay. So we So now we know that, that Grandpa Bailey isn't burning somewhere, <laughs> only, only his likeness. <laughs> oh, there we go. So it makes it react a Yeah, react it a reacts fast, really fast, doesn't it? You can do it on cold too, but it takes a little longer. Right. It takes time and chemical. So now didn't they used to like bury these things in the ground? Yeah. And, to, to keep them warm. That's, to keep them warm. That's what I they, see. They used to do a so, lot of uh, in the grass and neat stuff. Well, this is really yeah, cool. Just wash it off. Okay. Let me just rinse it off. I'm going to stand back here for the safety of the uh, electrical equipment. Yeah. Okay, so we've kind of got a grayish black look to it. That's That'd the undertone cool. for basically yeah. most of the traditional patina. Okay. Sounds cool. All right. And then we go heat it up again. Is that the next well, step? Well, we, we can rub it out now. now oh, okay. So we're going to go buff this out and buff off the high points and give us some, some bare metal that's not already got the patina on it so that we can add our next colors. We'll pause that right now. All right, so here we are. We're going to rub off the patina in certain areas, and we know that uh, Grandpa Bailey here had a lighter hat, so he's going to rub off some of the black there so that we can have the hat showing up nicely. Get around here where we can see a little bit better what you're doing. Back and forth with the water, mm -hmm. so you can see where you're doing it. Right. Because the water gets dark as you go. Yep. Yeah. So we're going for a kind of realistic colors while traditional, right? Yeah, I believe so. That that seems the the best for me. Okay. On this. What about the hair? Do you have? Well, he had uh, light, light hair in the photo. It was a black and white photo that I was working from when and I did this one. lighter skin, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So what we'll do is... So we'll just um, work his face that way. Yeah, I guess, So you can have some contrast. Mm -hmm. Obviously, some, the face, it needs to be lighter than the hair, although right. this is what happens with traditional patinas, although he might have white hair and everything. Right. If you start doing everything in one single color, they just exactly look, looks monotonous. It does. It does. You know, he he did have. It looked like it was a light blue shirt, from what I could tell. Okay. Um, I don't know if we want to go with blue on there though. What do you think? We could. Uh, we can always just brush Kubrick on on top of the sulfur, which okay. makes it. Okay. Yeah, it was like blue. a like a baby blue. 
powder blue or something like that. Of course, what am I thinking? It was a black and white photo. How in the world would I know it was a <laughs> <new> shirt? <laughs> Somebody watching this probably picked up on that it. real quick. Yeah, it's all good. Maybe I'm just thinking from other reference photos that I saw. He was sure a fun guy to sculpt, though. Look at those smile lines. You can tell he was a happy guy. Yeah. Probably a prankster, too. <laughs> you know, I think just dabbing a little bit, um, buffing out the shirt just slightly mm -hmm. to kind of fade into the background would be good since that's kind of what I did with that's the clay. With yeah, it just kind of blends its way in. So just give a few little high points and we can probably call that good. Yep, looks great. stuff lighter like such as a hat and, a, and mm -hmm. the, the face we can just add. leave the background nice and dark yeah and also when it's dry we can rub it out some more to give it some oh i see some okay depth on those highlights okay so we can do some some work on it after it's mm -hmm. uh, dry so what are you thinking for the color that goes over this well for the traditional mm -hmm. uh, approach uh, Usually what goes on top of this is ferric nitrate. Ferric nitrate. Which is uh, it's like the most traditional color combination okay. of colors is sulfur and ferric nitrate to make it that traditional brown. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And, and you can always play with it, mm -hmm. controlling it. You see you want a lighter, darker brown. Right. And that's basically what this undertone is. This is what is going to set the, the tone for your ferret, because your ferret basically, if you put it by itself, is an orange color. Okay, gotcha. And we don't really want him looking orange. Yeah, so this is what, by fading it and giving it this contrast with the sulfur, is what's going to make all the browns mm -hmm. be contrasting. Okay. That'd be great. Sure looks real good to me. Now the other thing that I will do is um, you see how in the eyes and where the nose crevices are is really black. Yes, I see that. What I do is I just take a wire brush. Okay. And just slightly try to get in there just to get some of that black out. To give, right. To give more definition to the facial expression. Okay. And that way we're not blacking out every exactly, little bit. And if you put all this effort into making sure into that his it, facial yeah. expressions are are there, because that's what makes a, a person uh, have his own personality, you know, his facial expression. Otherwise, that's true. This could be just another guy. <laughs> and also, you still need some shadows. That's true. Yeah, we don't need to make all the shadows with the uh, colors because uh, it's so a sculpture. It's it happens its naturally. In fact, yep. it's, it's a three-dimensional piece. Mm -hmm. So a lot of stuff happens naturally. That's great. What about inside that deep part of the ear there? We'll get, if, if I can do it with this, I'll take a... Okay. I was just noticing that's kind of... That's yeah, kind it is really big, black and you don't want that... Big to black spot right in there. <laughs> This one's kind of worn out. Okay. Well, we'll come back to this in a second and go from there. I'm going to warm it up again, just get rid of all the water and moisture, mm -hmm. and get it ready to apply the ferric nitrate. Okay. So, next step warming it up and the ferric nitrate. Sweet. So, we get some more blasting of that hot. Yeah. Hot fire. Fire, baby. And it's 
And it's going to be loud. Yep, that's true. Steam coming up off of that. Yeah, the water on the grate is still steaming, but there's nothing coming off the piece itself. All the water was gone and good metal. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Already. Very cool. Pause for a second. Looks like we got a visitor. He's throwing on his mask and getting ready for the next acid. We're going to put that on and then we'll put on a clear coat and wax. Oh, yeah, we got to heat it up first. Oh, yeah, and we gotta got to get the fan going. darker around the edges. the edges. I agree. Maybe not so much on, him, on himself. No, I think he's going. good. Let's go let's go dark around the edges. Look like it's fading into its blackness.
All right, so that's going to look good. So the next step is the clear coat? Yeah, it needs to cool down for the clear coat, though. Okay. So I'll put the fan on it. Got to put a fan on it and cool it down, and we'll come back to it. Let's take a good picture of this right here. Looking good. Let's see some of that uh, relief there. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All right, we'll come back to you in a minute. So we're going to do the clear coat, and it's called Nicholas, did you Nicholas, say? Uh -huh. Nicholas, it's a clear coat, and then we're going to put the wax on after that. But that'll help seal the colors for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, protect it. And protect it. There goes the fan. And I'm going to stand back out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, it's a strong smell. I can see why you put a mask on every time. If I was doing this all the time, I'd definitely want to protect my lungs like that. So now we'll put the fan on again just to... Yeah. Also, what I like to do is make it faster. Just like every clear coat, or or anything, they bathe the clear coat. Gotcha. Gotta give it a little bit of wax on it and you said that'll uh, oh, yeah, cut, cut down on the shine. Oh yeah, and that's That'll be good. I can definitely see, let's turn this the right way for the camera folk, you can definitely see those uh, highlights and recesses really started to show up with that. Of course we got a kind of a little bit of a glare here. We'll see how it is with the wax. Okay, so this is Bowling Alley Wax. And Which we're gonna, is exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. It's for doing the bowling alleys. You just, apply, the, you just apply it on top. And this is, it's the same as you were applying just hot wax. Uh huh. So what it does is it knocks down all of that. Oh, yeah. Stuff, yep, it just took that plastic shine plastic from the sealer away. Isn't that nice? And it doesn't let it come back ever. Oh, that's good. Now you just have that nice wax. See, and how do you guys ever figure out all this stuff? It's it was uh, see, a lot uh, of trial and error, I'm sure. Yeah, it's kind of like color itself, but um, mm -hmm. pretty much my experience with empathy, empathy and I have been from other people, so this knowledge was passed on to me. Okay. And you do discover another 
stuff, such as like which Clerico works better, which wax works better. Right. There's different brands of bowling alley wax. There's the Johnson's face wax, which for years that was what people would traditionally use for mm -hmm. this kind of thing. But what we discovered with that is that it's got a color to it. Oh, it has a little bit of color. It's got a bit, little bit of color, so it kind of distorts the final product. This one is clear. Right. Although it looks clear, white clear, in here, right. you apply it and it's completely clear. Yeah. And you can see it on the bow now. <laughs> That's true. See, so I wonder, now, I wonder if Grandpa Bailey liked bowling too. I bet he probably did. liked everything. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So, so you know, you now have? what you have is you can take oh, a, yeah, a that photo and there's no... Nicer. Maybe that will be glare from light, but yeah, no, it's it's not the shininess that we had before. I was I was kind of noticing that, but yeah, that's that's looking real good. All right, so what next? Do we heat it up or, no. or is that it? If that's it. You wait for that to dry it up a little bit, and you buff it up with a rag, a clean rag. Oh, that's right, the rag buffing. Which we have our okay. We'll come back. This seems like this like. <laughs> it looks like an old T-shirt or something. Yeah, it's got um, it's got wax to the wood rack is too. It's got wax to the, all, the all these. Oh, look at that! Yeah, Scott Rogers pieces. Aren't they great? And uh, he actually referred metal arts to me when I was first getting started, way back last year. And now we're doing my own pieces in bronze. Well, Grandpa Bailey, looking good. We'll come back after we buff. Yeah, buff it with the rag. Yeah, we buff Switch it up. Buff it with the rag. Yep. Any rag works. So anything works. Um, now for keeping it up. For keeping it up, I don't obviously doesn't have to be bowling. Right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. As far as the foundation.